Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is my second video, it's a th actually a three part series and this is the third part of the series, all about finding low entry competitions and this video is gonna focus on TweetDeck. Uh, it's really important that you uh, go and read the original blog post which I'm gonna link below um, because without the base information using TweetDeck can be quite complicated but if you understand the base information, then using TweetDeck is a breeze. A lot of people find TweetDeck quite difficult um, because they're worried about how much is on there. Oh, look. Okay, so let's get ourselves logged in. Right, so there we go. Log ourselves into uh, TweetDeck. So you just go to the TweetDeck page. And then, so I, I've not actually set up TweetDeck yet as such so this is what you'll you'll get so you'll have a, a a couple of columns so i'm going to sort of show you what everything is and then i'll show you how to um find low entry competitions with it so your first thing to do is uh you'll have a, a home home column here in column one you'll then have a notifications column you'll have your messages column and then you'll have an activity column you don't really need any of these, um, but we'll leave them here and I'm just gonna sort of show you how to move things around. So um, if very quickly, you'll see there's a tiny little number. So one, two, three, four. If you wanna quickly switch to a column, just press the corresponding number on your um, on your keyboard. Okay. Oh, it is only moving across, but only slightly on mine. Uh, and it'll highlight the, the, the column that you want. If you want to move where your columns are, simply move over to the left-hand toolbar and you can just drag and drop. So very simple. If I put the home one there, the home one then moves over there. So this is just for organizing how you want things to be displayed. You can have an infinite number. Infinite? Infinite. Maybe there is an upper limit, but I haven't discovered it yet. Um, so these are the columns we've already got. Uh, this is an add column, which we're going to get to in a minute. This is to expand. So if you're not sure what these little icons mean, you can expand and you can see what each of these icons do. Accounts. So if you have got an additional account, so I've got, uh, this is sort of my demo, demo account. I've also got my regular everyday uh, Glam and Geeky uh, t Twitter account. And then I've also got a separate account for my uh, accessible gaming channel. Um, so if you want to switch, but I just use this on uh, my glam and geeky account and you also got settings so you can have keyboard shortcuts there's even search tips that sort of things and if you ever want to log out you can do that there so i'm actually you can tweet directly from here you can do a lot of stuff from tweet deck so we're going to collapse that and what we're going to do is we are going to add a column so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a list now if you remember reading my uh second um second tutorial in this series it was all about how to make lists. Now, um, I haven't made many lists on this account, um, but I am already I've subscribed to Di Coke's um, kids list, and I've already got a holiday list, although it's quite a basic one. But depending on how, all of the lists that you have will basically be displayed here. So I'm gonna add the kids list, and I'm also gonna add, oh, it won't let me do both of them. Okay, so I'll add my holidays lists, add column, and then I'm gonna click on the kids list and I'm gonna add column okay so I think that's done let's go back here so there we go our tweet deck is now updated so now we've got all those things that we had originally but we also have our holidays lists and our kids list now you might be thinking oh, well I can view my list whenever I want I can view my list on on Twitter normally you can but you can't filter the search so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to filter a search. So you, these little bars here, if you click on them, you've got a huge amount of uh, options. But what you're really interested in is going to content. Now, and this is where you can choose what you want displayed. So you can either have all tweets. You can just ask for tweets with images. We're going to go for all tweets. We are going to exclude retweets because we don't really need any retweets in there we just want what's directly from um, the people that we've got in the list now enter words to match okay so let's say we only want to see tweets that contain the word win so let's type win and hit the return key we can then click here there we go so this has now been filtered so why has it not come up with the word win Hmm. 
Hmm, I was hoping that this would feel so, but it doesn't seem to. Let me try it again. Let's try hashtag win. Okay, hashtag win was better. So you can now see that that column just has competitions in it. Okay, so this that's how you use lists. That's really super handy, super easy to do. Um, if you want to move your lists up to the front, you can. Likewise, you might actually want to uh, remove a column. If you want to remove a column, click it, and go down to remove. There we go. That's that gone. Um, I I tend to leave like the home messages and notifications off to the side, and then just have these here. Now. Um, the first part of our tutorial was all about searches and how to find uh, competitions with the right keywords and searching for things. So let's add a column with a search on it. So let's say we want to win tickets uh, for something in London. So win London tickets. Okay. Now annoyingly it puts all of your new searches down at the bottom. We're going to drag that up to the front. So literally you just go into the search bar, type it, hit enter, and then it's displayed on your tweet deck. So, um, and it's actually telling me, filter your search for better results. And we'll, we'll do that bit in a minute. Uh, so you can see there's some competitions coming up. Spirit of Christmas competitions. Oh, there's lots of Spirit of Christmas competitions. Fancy going to a six day cycling event in London next weekend. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, style, tickets to Stylist Live. So basically anything that you can do a Twitter search for, you can search, search it in here and set up your own column. So you, you might have a particular prize that you're after. Um, so you might want to, you might try and be trying to win Peppa Pig anything. Again, really annoying that it puts it there. I'm going to drag that up to the front. There we go. Um, and I can see here now a lot of these. Now you notice here, this is really annoying. So these are lots of people tweeting from um, blogs, automatic blog posts. Now you could click on that and then go and, uh, you know, it's great because you can then go and enter the competition yourself. But um, you might think, oh God, these keep displaying and I don't want them there. Oh, I actually want to enter that one. That's right around the corner from me. Um, Oh, must come back to that so uh say for example what was that account so they were from it's a family blog or my first in my experience so um, location content there we go okay again this is a little bit more complicated this time you can show all tweets you can search tweets with images sometimes if you just select tweets with images competitions good competitions in particular tend to have images on them uh, because they a, a good PR company knows that if you tweet with a picture you're likely to get more people viewing it and engaging with it as well so sometimes if you've got like just loads of um, results coming up and you want to narrow it down to find competitions you can just select tweets with images um, you can again you can exclude words you can select a, the date range that you want it in so you might get you know you shouldn't get loads of really old tweets because you're only going to be getting tweets uh in chronological order by the most recent you can get rid of certain languages again you can exclude retweets um anything really and location so location you can actually so this is really handy say you specifically wanted tickets so again the london one we didn't actually need to type london up there we could have actually clicked here and then chosen a radius that's quite a big radius, isn't it? And then it will just show you all the tweets within that radius. There's not that many there because uh, these are people that are registered as being in London. But uh, Peppa Pig isn't really a thing to do. But if you're looking for a local comp, it's a great way of um, narrowing things down a little bit. Um, you can ask for tweets that have got so many retweets, likes, replies, etc. Um, but yeah, it's super simple, easy to do. I'm going to just try and find you... So I'm actually going to say you want to overwrite a column. So instead of having to um, click and remove it, or you can clear clear all those tweets, let's type something new in there. So let's say um, let's say you want to find all the competitions that are closing at midnight tonight, or at least have been tweeted as closing at midnight tonight. Now you're going to get some American ones with this. 
I've just got used to knowing who's American and who isn't. Unfortunately, with the um, area one, you can't just select everyone in the UK, which is quite annoying. The, a quick way to check and see, or it's not really quick on TweetDeck. I click on there. Oh, there you go. So this tells me they're from New York. That's not an English competition. Nope, went into that one. So we'd simply scroll down the list looking for competitions that are possibly closing at midnight and then enter them. So it's really quick and simple. Um, and just oh, I'm checking every now and then to make sure if I'm unsure, I'm checking to see if it's a um, UK competition or not. So I'm just going to show you how to reply to something now. So you quite quite simply find a competition that you want to reply to. Uh, you just hit the little bubble icon, very much the same as on normal Twitter. And you can actually repeat, uh, reply directly. Uh, so you would type your reply into this box here and then press the, uh, the blue tweet button. You can't add pictures, unfortunately. If you need to add a picture uh, to a competition, you have to click directly on the name of the, uh, the Twitter account, go onto their Twitter, find the competition and then add a photo that way uh, so you might have to pop into normal twitter every now and then just to get that um working properly so that's pretty much it for TweetDeck. It is actually very simple and easy to use as long as you know how to do the searches and how to set up the list in the first place. It's a really powerful tool, a, a really good way of filtering in lots of information very quickly. And I maybe spend, uh, I don't do it every evening, but um, once an evening I might sit down, have a quick half an hour and flick through a couple of TweetDeck columns. When you log out of TweetDeck, that information, will, when you log back in, that information is still there. You don't need to set it up each time. It's really important though if you haven't already go and read the first and second blog post there's also a video for the second blog post about how to master searches as well as how to set up twitter lists if you've got any other questions just comment below or pop over to the glam and geeky mum blog and good luck i hope you find loads of low entry competitions